So you're scrolling through Instagram to see what do mandibular molars look like when they're done. And you see this one image and you ask yourself, what am I supposed to do with this middle isthmus spot? Am I supposed to clean that out? Am I supposed to bleach it? Am I supposed to trough it? I don't know. Well, one of our students asked that exact question and here is the answer. Before we jump into this episode, I'd like to invite you to join this community to see more dentistry videos like these to make your life easier. All I want you to do is click on the subscribe button. I love your support. It's incredible to see all of your comments and we're just getting started. Thank you so much for subscribing. It means the world to me. You need to make sure that there's not a middle mesial canal. Now in most of the literature, I would say on average, the middle mesial canal is present in about 15% of cases. And here we are right here. So the tooth is now dried. And what we're going to do is we're going to remove this material here. Now I don't normally use ultrasonics, but I wanted to show it in this video because there are certain advantages. One advantage of using an ultrasonic for troughing, I can see exactly what I'm doing at the tip of that handpiece. There's no head of the handpiece in the way, like my slow speed when I use a Munspur. So what I'm doing is I'm troughing back and forth, buccal lingual. I'm trying to keep to the mesial of the furcation and I'm just doing ni nice light brush strokes. And what I wanna do is I wanna to go to about a millimeter to two millimeters below the pulpal floor I don't want to perforate through the pulpal floor, but I'm staying mesial, and then I'm just going back and forth. And normally what happens is in real life, this is an extracted tooth, my dental assistant is blowing air. Now this is me with my left hand, I'm right-handed blowing air into here. And what that does, when I do this dry, it pushes all that debris out of the way. But the thing that I don't like about ultrasonic tips, you're gonna, you gotta wait for it, because it's gonna happen in one second, is that they break. No! So that's one of the reasons why I don't use it but you can use a Munzpur. Now the key with using a Munzpur, we're gonna show the difference here, is that you just have to angle the head of the handpiece out of the way. Now, whether you use a Munzpur, a small high-speed burr, slow down in your electric handpiece, whatever kind of burr, it's critical to clean this out because what we're gonna do is we're going to see, we're looking for any little clues to see if there's a middle mesial canal. Now look at the difference in the, in the texture of the dentin. I never thought I'd be saying that in my life before. The other tip I was using was a buck one tip and it has a diamond coating. I love them. I don't use them very often, but just for this demonstration, I was using it. But that diamond coating kind of leaves a really rough kind of surface. You can see it right here. So pretty rough. And we're trying to, what we're looking for are little white dots. See that roughness here? Now we'll use a small round burr. This is a Munz burr or even an endotracer burr. I'm gonna go back and forth. And I'm just doing it here just to show the comparison of what the surface texture is. Now, yes, you can get different types of ultrasonic tips. No problem. If you're using ultrasonic tips for this, make sure it's rounded. If you want diamond coated, get diamond coated. If you want smooth, you can get smooth. But look at the surface difference. It's super smooth with that Munzburr. And what's that little secret right there? That might actually be your middle mesial. So stay tuned for another video. Look at that little dot. And these are one of the keys right here. This little dot might actually be the entrance into our middle mesial canal. So that's why it's important to trough this out and not let, not just leave it for hypo to clean that out because hypo will remove, if it sits long enough, we'll remove that vital tissue, that hypochlora or the biofilm. The problem is we don't know if there's a middle mesial. So hopefully that helps. Thank you so much for being here. I'm super grateful for your time in the community. We'll talk to you soon. Hey, Ash here. And I wanted to take a second of your time just to introduce our course, Root Canal Like an Endodontist. We've had it for a couple of years and we've had some amazing successes through it just confidence building on behalf of our students and really what happened was a few years ago i wanted to create a course to help others because i know what it's like on your endo journey a lot of times you don't know what's going on you don't know if you've ledged it you don't know what to do if you blocked it you don't even know if a curved canal what to do and what i wanted to do was take all my mistakes and my training from my residency and put it into a affordable online course for everyone around the world to join in and it's been absolutely amazing and i wanted to offer to you check us out at allthingsendo.ca once you join the course you get access into our private facebook group where all of us answer questions and i'm telling you there are questions every day that you might be able to i'm sure you'll be able to connect with because sometimes it's just takes a little bit of courage to ask a question and then your outcome may be incredible anyways i look forward to seeing you there all things endo.ca. We'll talk to you soon.